What's going on guys? It's your favorite fat loss coach, Joel Staley here. And you should already know by now that prolonged fasting is by far the quickest, easiest, healthiest way to lose stubborn belly fat fast. That is until now, because I have to come clean with you. I've been keeping a guarded secret for a while now. Now there is a way to get all the health benefits and lose fat even quicker than prolonged water fasting. And today I'm gonna to share that with you because we're talking about dry fasting. Let's get into it. All right, so what exactly is dry fasting? If you understand the concept of water fasting, it's essentially the exact same thing minus one thing, water, or really any liquid. As a matter of fact, there are two types of dry fasting. You can either do a soft dry fast, meaning that you're still having contact with water, you're just not drinking it, or you can do what's known as a hard dry fast, which means no water contact whatsoever. So that means no taking a shower, no brushing your teeth, no washing your hands. And I'll be honest with you, I typically stick to soft dry fast because I'm under the impression our skin really doesn't absorb that much water anyway, at least not into the places that it counts. So a soft dry fast is enough to get you to where you wanna go. The only other major difference between a dry fast and a water fast, which we'll get into, is the amount of time to see all the health benefits, including the fat burning. So if you've done a 72 hour water fast before, I would recommend starting off with a 24 hour dry fasting. And you're gonna be blown away because the results are going to be neck and neck in a fraction of the time. All right, so onto the big question. Why would somebody dry fast? And this one is pretty complex. You can do a lot of reading into it, but you know me, I'm a big old dummy, so I'm gonna break it down fasting for dummies. Did you know that fat cells and fat tissue are made up of around 90% water? So because water is so vitally important to our bodies functioning properly, what happens is when you run very low on water, our bodies will actually pull the excess water out of the fat cells just in order to keep operating your body. Now what happens is your fat cells end up collapsing and you get rid of it. And this is just a fraction of what happens. Think of it like a survival of the fittest where all your weak damaged cells collapse in on themselves. You get into autophagy much quicker than you do with water fasting. And there's almost like a sort of nuclear fusion that happens within the cell to rebirth and regenerate itself. The long story short is you get all the exact same benefits as water fasting, but in a fraction of the time. Moving on to the next question, when should you dry fast? And that's what I love about fasting altogether is you don't need like a 90 day perfect pathway with no engagements or nothing going on. You can bust out a fast at any time you'd like. Again, I can't stress this enough. Start off with 24 hours. You don't need to find a 72 hour engagement where you have nothing going on. If you can find and dedicate 24 hours to just limiting your water, actually cutting it off completely, while also eliminating the food that's going in your mouth, you can do it anytime, anywhere, with anyone, however you'd like. Just like anything that has to do with fitness, whether it's lifting or cardio, start off small, see how you like it, test the waters, and then build from that foundation. Moving on, how to dry fast. It's very easy. You pick 24 hours out of your life, you don't eat any food, you don't drink any water or any liquids whatsoever, so no vitamins. It, it's funny because it eliminates all those stupid questions you get with water fasting. Can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have vitamins? But no, you don't do anything. You don't put anything in your mouth. And if you're doing a hard dry fast, you stay away from water altogether. Again, like it's snowing out right now, so that, it's not even doable. I think it's stupid. But, you know, choose your own adventure. I like the soft dry fast. All it really means is no eating, no drinking. You can't possibly mess this up. And to finish us off, who should attempt a dry fast? I will say this, it's very important to crawl before you walk. If you haven't done a 48 or 72 hour water fast yet, where you're still able to have like Gatorade Zero and electrolytes and black coffee and all these little crutches that help get you through, I wouldn't attempt to do a dry fast before you do at least some sort of water fast. Now, if you've already done a 72 hour fast or a handful of prolonged fasts, I say dedicate 24 hours this week. Just don't drink any water, commit to 24 hours, hop on the scale, 
you know, maybe take a little journal and, and jot down how you're feeling and experiment with it. But it's really gonna depend on your experience with fasting up to this point. Now on that point, if you are brand new to fasting and you're looking for some sort of guidance or help, I've dropped a guide in the description of this video where we walk you through exactly what's helping our clients that we're working with now. Go ahead and grab a copy of that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell for notifications and all that stuff. Drop any comments below. Let me know what you want to see in the next video and we'll see you in the next video.